Jesus Christmas, that was loud. What's up, guys? I'm Ike Capigal, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Moonblind. In the last episode, we made it here to Poe Town, and we're just fighting a bunch of Team Skull members. Moves like Horn Drill and Guillotine basically never hit when you want them to. That's it. I'm done taking gambles. I'll kick this habit once and for all. You can put your money on me. Okay. That was a little too real. Um... Yeah, so this place has been taken over by Team Skull, and... Right now, we are giving them the Titan Show. However, I think it's about time we switch to somebody else. So let's move V back up, because Titan is now our strongest. Titan doesn't need to catch up anymore. So let's get V back in the game, because V really sucks at battling. My Wimpod, it's actually too rad. You think you can calm it down? Of course. I go to V, and it's a Bug-type Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably gonna have to switch V out practically right away. That's no good. That really sucks. Hey, remember when I had a win pod, like for literally one episode? Let's see if I can take it out. I'm almost certain I can't. Yeah, this is not happening. Let's just get, let's just get Screech in there. Should probably teach Screech Fly, by the way. Even though Screech isn't a flying type. You don't need to be doing that. Die. There you go. Attaboy, Screech. Thank you, buddy. Ba -da -ba -da. What a super rowdy trainer. I got 2,000 bucks for doing that. All right. There's a Zagarde thing over here. I'm a straight shooter, straight and simple as an arrow. Okay. This place is really weird. Hey, that reminds me. Whatever happened to the guy who was always calling people numbskulls or whatever? What's wrong with him? Doesn't he see he, that we're getting invaded here? Oh. <laughs> Too bad you can't, like, talk to people like people. Into the castle? Shady house. You everything about this is shady. Dogla! And I'm an incomplete grunt. This is the only place for me in the whole world. This is weird. But I kinda dig it. I like the idea that they've taken over a whole town. So I'm expecting another battle with Gladion because it's, frankly, I can't believe it's been the last time we saw him was episode 18. Well, not saw, but the last time we battled him was episode 18. It's episode 52, and we haven't seen, we haven't fought him since. And there's not been, there's been nay an explanation on type null at all. So that we have to be able to fight it again soon. So land it. No, I'm sticking with V. Don't do that. No, don't do that. Don't do it. And your synchronize is not going to work. But this will. Come on, V. You got it. Wow, that did a significant amount, actually. All right. Am I gonna have to take V out of the game? Nah. All right, hit it with a, a snarl because stab. Whoa, okay. No screwing around was done today. 
I'm fit. This is a fitting outcome for me, incomplete as I am. The end. This is really heavy. Like, really, really heavy. This reminds me of some areas of Kalos, but like, not this heavy. All right, that's clearly where I gotta go next. Can I go in these doors? I don't know how you didn't see me. There's nothing here. Oh, there is something here. Oh, this month's tea. That's gonna be helpful. I'm glad I explored. Remember the password, Brian. It's beat up. Again, how did you not see me? Another guy that's just freaking out. Like, this is really creeping me out. I don't like this. What I was going to say, I don't remember if it was in this episode or last episode. I'll stop you so Guzma will stay chill. Oh crap, if Guzma's here, then that means I should probably get, uh... Oops, I didn't mean to hit my mic. I should probably get, um... Screech it ready to go. What are you? Have I fought one of you before? I'm moving around. Hmm. I'm gonna gamble. Let's see Psychic. I was right. Because purple... Yeah, I was right. I gambled that purple meant it was poison. And sure enough, it was. Um, what I was gonna say is... That reminds me of a mission in Grand Theft Auto where you see the guys, like, when you're seeing this Team Skull members, like, just passed out all over the place. It's reminding me of the mission, I think, I can't remember what the mission is in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It's a very early mission where you go to the crack den and you beat up the ballas. I hear that Mr. Guzman never got a gang ring. Z-ring is sort of a handicap because he's too strong already. Like... I love Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but uh, when you go to that crack den and you just see the people just tripping, lying all over the place, it's it's weird. Like, I get a weird feeling from it, and this is kind of giving me the same feeling. It's not guilt, I mean, they're freaking cartoons. They're not real people, it's just uneasiness, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. No, no. Kind of curious as to why Haunter didn't get a... The Ghastly Line didn't get a... An Alolan form. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. They're pretty arbitrary with what Pokemon get forms and which one don't. Which ones don't. The, the nice thing, by the way, about me being here by myself is that there's no chance that Cosmog will be here. Because they do want Cosmog. I better heal myself. Hence why I used Moonlight. I'm not a big fan of using healing type moves, but sometimes they do come in handy. Like right there. Don't confuse me. So I can deal with taking damage, especially when V's defenses are as good as they are. It's the confusion that's really annoying. All right, V. You, your full course, it got way too much seasoning. What does that even mean? We've been collecting every last shard of Buginium Z and Alola for Mr. Guzma. Also, that Mr. Guzma would be sure that she could be sure to the strongest bug user Pokemon around. Wait, 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 wait. Also, that Mr. Guzma could be sure to be the strongest bug use bug Pokemon user around. God, I cannot read. What's back here? Another one. This month's secret team skill password is Tapu Coco. A true Team Skull member always butts heads and answers with a hearty no. So... I've got two passwords. I've got Beat Up and Tapu Coco. Like, the, the chocolate. 
I'm gonna go out that side door now. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna need those. An ice stone? Like an evolutionary stone? That's a thing? I, I need to keep sorting these. Is this an evolutionary item? Yeah, it, it can. What could possibly evolve from that? Is this a new way to make Eevee evolve into Leafeon? It's all the only thing I can think of. What's wrong with him? Why does he keep staring at me? Does he see how hot I am or something? Oh my god, you're so vain. Okay, do I have to go back around? No. Oh, there's a hole upstairs that I didn't go to. I'm a silly. Alright, guess based on the fact the chandelier's blocking the way, I guess I'm going this way. Hello? Sludge bomb, yes! I needed that. Let's grab that right now. Teach that. I should probably teach... Um... Oh, God. Uh, I should probably teach, um, Psy Shock. Oh, wait, never mind. I was thinking of Venno Shock. Okay, so let's get out of here. This room is like the cleanest. Why is this room clean and nothing weird about it? This, they're slightly faded Pokemon dolls sitting on top of the bed. This this room, if anything, get, creeps me out the most. Because there's nothing wrong with it. It's not decrepit. It's not creepy looking. It's like, see this? OMG! Please don't tell me that's my skull tank you're wearing. Oh, no wonder it stinks. It's the same design, though. It does not stink. That's a lovely aroma. Anyway, we should write our names on them so we don't mix them up. Um, hello, our names are all Grunt. What's the point? What is happening right now? Ooh, boy, I can't believe he was eavesdropping on us. I guess we'll have to teach him a lesson. Your conversation was not that interesting, girls. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to... <sighs> okay. Yeah. You really want to be starting sh right now? Like, I'm not exactly in the best starting position here. But I can get- I can make it real ugly for you in about two seconds. I'll teach you a lesson, brah. This is not a fair fight. Don't bounce. Okay. X is R. No, no, crap. So much for that. Because this stupid ability. No. Go back into battle. Damn it. Whatever. Send out Steedleton. Uh, oh yeah, double kick. How are you fast? Revolve your ratted cape or your ratted tat. What is wrong with you? Get out of here. Ah. Uh. Thank you. Like, see, how do I undo this development? You can't. You lost. You lost. You lost. How embarrassing. I guess I really am just a grunt. Whoa, that was, like, so uncool. I'll re get re revenge for you while still wearing your skull tank. Okay. Let's let's just make this quick. Make this quick is what I said before I slightly hiccuped. I don't like the way their hands hang down. Is it a rat Do you have a rat tattoo? too? rat a cape Slightly different. 
Um, what's my plan here? I know. I should have gone. I would have liked to gone to Titan, but I don't think Titan would survive, and and have to take it out in one hit. So, Steel Thin's defense went right back up, even though it didn't rise. Because I'm gonna use all out pummeling if Steelton doesn't die. Oh, that's really annoying. Newt, take care of this, please. Do you want to feel some ultra poison? Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Super ultra poison, go. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to heal my Pokemon here. What is this? Too severe. Ugh, her tall her her skull tank was too tight for me. It was so distracting that I lost. It's all her fault. What was the fade for? Why did it fade? Seems so unnecessary. Um, how long has this episode been going? 17 in a bit. I could probably end it now. Uh, so with that, guys, I've been iCabagon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment as well. Subscribe for more videos like this one if you've not done so already. Don't forget to check out all the videos in my sidebar as well as all the channels in my description. I got that backwards. Uh, until next time, guys, I am signing off.